In this problem, we get a table of velocities and they want us to get distance. So basically what's happening is they tell you, well, at hour zero, your car is going zero miles per hour. At hour two, your car is going 10 miles per hour. You're a slow driver. At hour four, it's going 20 miles per hour. At hour six, it's going 30 miles per hour. And nine, it's going 40. And so we want to use these facts to just say, well, how far did I travel during my trip? And it's just going to be an estimate, right? Because only, we only have snapshots of how fast we are traveling. And so it's going to, sometimes it'll use words like this, left-hand sums, four, divis, four subdivisions and left-hand sums. So what do those two things mean? Well, when we do this table, when we, when we uh, get our total distance traveled, we're going to kind of break it up into intervals, right? We're going to say between, between t equals 0 and t equals 2, how far did I travel, right? And so when it's saying left-hand sums, what we're going to do is we're looking at this, we're looking at this kind of interval here, but we're going to do, we're just going to assume during that whole interval, I was doing what I did on the left side of the interval. So we're assuming this whole time I was traveling zero miles per hour, and then at the last second, I started going 10 miles per hour, right before I hit two hours. So what we're going to assume for this one is that my total distance traveled in that time was zero times two, the length of my interval. And so my total there will not be two, it will be zero miles. Now let's think about between t equals two and t equals four. So if that's the interval I'm concerned about now, what am I assuming I'm traveling between t equals two hours and t equals four hours? Well, it's a left-hand sum, so I use the left side, right? So I'm using this 10 here. So we're assuming I'll travel 10 miles an hour for two hours, and I'll go 20 miles. And this is going to continue on for t equals four to t equals six, and then from t equals six to t equals nine. In each of these cases, I use my left velocity. So I'll go 20 times 2 equals 40. And then I'll go 30 times 2 equals 60. Now, take a minute. Check if I did anything wrong here. And you should be worried a little bit about this last one. This last one, it was between 6 and 9 hours. And I was traveling 30 miles an hour during that whole period. So it says I traveled 60 miles an hour. Is that right? I mean, six, it says I traveled 60 miles. Is that right? And it's not because my length of my interval was actually three hours here. So I was going 30 miles for 30 miles an hour for three hours, and that means I traveled 90 miles. Okay. And so if we want to get our total distance using the left-hand sums, we'll just add up zero plus 20 plus 40 plus 90 and we'll get 150 miles. And just a quick note on what this four subdivision means, that means we're kind of using, we're using one, two, three, four subdivisions. And so we'll need five points for that, right? Look at the points in the table they give us. They give us five points, and that gives us four subdivisions. Now, for doing the right-hand sums, we're gonna use a very, very similar idea to this. So I'm actually gonna copy this whole area right here and I will paste it and put it down here. But what's going to change? All right, these are the things that's going to change. We're going to assume we're going that whole. We're we're going to assume we're doing the same thing for the two hours, except in, rather than using zero miles an hour for between t equals zero and t equals two, we assume we're going ten miles an hour between zero and two. Right? It's basically that we sped up right after zero miles per hour and then we kept going at that speed. And we're going to be doing the same thing for the rest of these. So then we'll do 20. Just look at the table. So the right hand side of that interval is 20. The right hand side of the next interval is 30. And the right hand side of the last interval is 40. And that's going to make our estimate much larger. Right? That's going to make our estimate much larger. So our total here will be. Um, and all of these are going to change, right? Our total here is going to be the sum of all of these things. And let's just go through what these are really quickly. We'll have 20, 40, 60, and then 120. And so when we add these things up, 
we will get 60 plus 60 is 120, we'll get 240 miles. Very big difference using these right hand and these left hand sums. Now finally, which is the overestimate? Basically, we're saying here, if we look at these intervals, if we look at these intervals, in which one were we using the bigger estimate for V of T each time? And in all of these, we were using a bigger estimate here in B. So B is our overestimate. So big idea with each of these, we break it up into kind of four little problems. When it says, how far did I travel between zero and nine hours? I say, well, let's look at these little areas they give us, figure out how far we traveled in each of those little areas, like zero, 20, 40, 90, and then just add them up. And we can either do that using the left side velocity as our estimate for how fast we were traveling or the right side velocity.